Hey there! Today I'm going to be showing you what I think are the 5 rarest Chow actions that your Chow can do in the Chow Garden. The 5 actions or animations are all possible to get in a vanilla unmodded game, but I also have some rare modded animations to show you as well. Let's get into it. For number 5, I have a couple animations related to the Chow races. First is the tree planting animation. This one only occurs after your Chow has won the level 3 crab pool race and unlocked the shovel. The shovel allows your Chow to dig a hole and plant any seed that you purchase from the black market. For this example, you can see we got Niv here planting a strong seed that grows strong food for strong Chow. Shout out Niv for helping out all the Chow in our garden, using their shovel, digging a big hole. Now Niv is going to use their watering can that they got from Stump Valley level 3. Without it, the tree will not grow very well. After they are done watering the tree, the Chow does a really cute happy dance to help the tree grow. Your Chow can also do this dance if they only have the watering can. You just need another Chow to shovel to plant the tree first. After that, any Chow with the watering can is able to water the tree and do the happy dance. Easily one of the best animations in the game, and thankfully it isn't really all that rare. The other animation I have here in the number 5 slot is the bubble wand, or bubble blowing animation. This toy is only unlocked after your Chow completes the final diamond race. This one is much rarer than the tree planting one, but the tree dance was too cute to exclude from this video. Both of these animations together I think are a good fit for the fifth spot on this list. For number 4, I'm going to be lumping a few actions together as they are all equally rare and they are all caused by pretty much the same thing. These animations are the Chow Hiss, Run Away, and dizzy animations. The dizzy animation only happens if your Chow has been thrown around the garden a bunch, and the other two only happen if your Chow dislikes your character or outright fears them. I really hope not too many of you have actually seen these in game before, as I myself had never really seen them until I first used the Chow editor. There were no Chow hurt or thrown in the making of this video, I simply used the editor to make these actions happen. I have only ever seen these with the editor, which I think makes it fitting for these animations to go in the number 4 slot, as these are very rare animations for good Chow Razors. Which I really hope all of you are. Please do not abuse your Chow. Number 3 is the break dance. Yeah, that was it. Only lasts a few seconds, making it really easy to miss. The breakdance action is a quick dance your Chow can do after you give them a line. I'm not really sure what the connection between a line and breakdancing is, but I'm so happy they added this to the Chow Garden. This action really should have been something that was taught at the Chow Kindergarten, as this one is a Sonic Adventure DX exclusive unless you were using mods. The line was sadly excluded from Sonic Adventure 2 and the animation it gives was also removed. Thankfully Chow World Extended adds this as a slightly more common animation and extends it to be longer too. But even then, it is still quite rare to see in Garden. The unfortunate rarity of this animation makes it a great choice for the number 3 slot. I just really wish it wasn't such a rare and short animation in the base game. For number 2, we have another group of actions lumped together, and this time it is the different sicknesses your Chow can get. There are 6 different illnesses, and they all have their own unique animations. For sicknesses in the Chow Garden, there is a cough, cold, rash, hiccups, stomach ache, And lastly, the running nose. I've only ever encountered these sicknesses while playing on a modded file or using the Chow editor. In my hundreds of hours of unmodded Chow Garden gameplay, I've not once encountered a Chow sickness. They are extremely rare in game and nothing outright causes them. They are pure RNG unless you're using mods. I'm guessing the developers made sicknesses extra rare to prevent people from seeing these sad animations, but they might have gone a bit overboard on the rarity. One big positive of your Chow getting sick though is that it finally gives a proper purpose for the doctor examining your Chow, as the doctor will actually give your Chow medicine when they are sick. It's great that the doctor is finally doing some doctor stuff, but it really sucks that it is so rare for this to happen. Number 3 
Number one is your Chao attacking your character. Yes, this is real. Your Chao can actually punch the character you're playing as. This only occurs if your Chao is really angry, dark aligned, and really dislikes the character you are using. You have to keep the character close to your Chao while they are throwing a tantrum, and there's a chance they'll run over and start attacking you. This animation is something I have only ever seen while using mods as a Chao editor, as I pretty much never have Chao that are angry, or Chao that really hate one certain character. I'm pretty sure most Chao abusers end up with Chao that fear them, rather than angry Chao, so this isn't even too likely for Chao abusers to see. This is another one that is really rare for good Chao raisers, but it is much rarer than the previous ones because of how specific of a situation you need for this to occur. There was the top 5 for unmodded Chao Garden. Now I got some rare animations to show you that are added by Chao World Extended. Most of these are likely rarer than the previous ones shown in the top 5, but since they are modded actions, I want to keep them separate from the rest. I'm not ranking them or anything, but just wanted to show them off here. First, we got the guitar and triangle animations. These instruments are not in the base game, but are great additions to the Chao Garden. Next, it's a Chao hugging animation. This occurs when you have two Chao interact with each other when they are really good friends. Kind of looks a little bit more like a kiss than a hug, but the mod developers insist it is only a hug. Next we got the Chao piano and organ animations. These ones also have some music that can play alongside them with multiple different possible songs. Next we got the Chao birthday. This event happens every so often for Chao and can occur each time you enter the garden. You just have to check the Chao doctor to see when your Chao's birthday is. Next we got the Chao kick or punch animation that is added by the bully Chao code. This one is similar to the punch character animation except it is towards another Chao rather than a character. It can only happen once a Chao meets certain requirements and becomes a bully Chao. The requirements are for your Chao to be really angry, be dark aligned, have a low kindness personality value, and a high energetic personality value. If these conditions are met, there's a chance they'll become a bully Chao and run around randomly attacking idle Chao. Well, that is everything I got for you today. Let me know your thoughts on these Chao actions in the comments below. My personal favorite here was the breakdance. It is just too cool. Thank you to everyone who clicked the like button, and thank you so much to all the channel members and supporters. Without you, I would not be able to create content and stream regularly. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.